this one goes here, and, uh, ah, that's good, right next to it, lovely. Ah, uh, ah, uh, uh, sorry, let me just get out your way. Ah, oh, no, 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 it's no big deal. I'd hate to impede your search. After all, finding the right book is a true challenge. <laughs> well, best of luck on your treasure hunt. I hope you find something worth your interest. Alright, that's this all done. On to the next. Ah, <laughs> we meet again. How goes the search? Oh, that series. Um, it's... <sighs> Look, I'm going to be honest with you, that series is absolute garbage. I had really high hopes for it, and it started off strong, but towards the end of the first book, it just loses the plot completely. It goes right off the rails. Oh, of course I finished the whole series. I'm not a quitter. That doesn't mean I wouldn't prefer to stab my eyes out with knitting needles than read it again. Ugh, don't even get me started. You might as well ask me what about it I did like. Probably be easier to answer that question. Because the answer is, the way it started off was the only part worth recognising. But as for what I didn't like? Oh, oh no, you asked. You're getting the dish. First off, the characters were so flat and boring. No development whatsoever. The main character's just this whiny ass who doesn't mature at all the entire time. Like, they remain so completely insufferable the whole time. I'd rather shut myself in an Iron Maiden than read a character that poorly written again. Oh no, of course there's more. Uh, let's see, the supporting characters could have been replaced by frogs or cats or something, and they would have been more compelling and important to the plot. The dialogue is almost physically painful to read. It was the literary equivalent of pulling out your own hair. Don't even get me started on the antagonist. The guy had the personality of a cardboard cutout. And the queer coding? Come on, this isn't a fairy tale film from the 1960s. Yeah, you know how they made the villains a little too fruity just to emphasize their flamboyance and penchant for evil? Imagine that, but for a book. Yeah, it's bad. Plus, the queer baiting between two of the side characters just for the sake of shock factor? Horrid. Either make them gay or don't. Don't just draw it out only to be like, <laughs> nope. God, that pissed me off. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe I'd recommend it to people who like to not have to think when they read stuff. It's like the author just took every popular trope and smashed it into one mediocre at best series in order to capitalize on the mind-numbing consumption of bland content. So, if you like bad fantasy books, yeah, this would be the series for you. Or, if you want to hate read it like I did, so you can say you read it, but then just, well, ramble to a random stranger about how bad it is. Ah, <laughs> uh, a recommendation? Well, if you're looking for fantasy, I'd recommend the series A Withering of Royal Thorns. Yeah, I know, I know. It sounds like every boring fantasy title out there. But this one, it is honestly incredible. Hmm, okay. How do I not spoil this? Uh, it's set in some distant, made-up kingdom and starts just at the beginning of a revolt against the monarchy. The first two books start at the exact same time, but uh, from two different perspectives. Then the narrative is rejoined in the third book and builds up into the fourth. Uh, they each follow different characters. The first one follows the heir to the throne and their royal protector as they flee the kingdom to preserve their lives. The second follows two royal guards, a senior and a junior, who escape the castle just as the revolt begins. <laughs> I know. There's some crazy action scenes in both books. The author does a really good job of layering the timelines. And then the third book starts with the guards and the heir and protector running into each other. I won't tell you any more than that. I don't want to ruin it for you. <laughs> yeah. The authors do a phenomenal job bringing the timeline back together. It's not easy to do. The subtle references and the foreshadowing, they're remarkable. And they aren't half bad at writing romance either. That's not really the main focus, but um, the romance does add a nice dimension to it. It has an actual purpose rather than just being in there to titillate people. 
Oh, I love the whole series. I actually ended up camping outside a bookstore to try to get a copy of the fourth one when it came out. <laughs> Nearly got my hand taken off by some rabid fans. But I got the book. <laughs> I've read the whole series at least three or four times. I think I read the first three in one sitting, and then had to wait a year for the fourth one. And I've heard that there's a prequel coming out that delves a little deeper into the relationship between the heir and their protector. I'm really excited for that one. Yeah, I'd say check them out. You really won't regret it. They're brilliant. <laughs> of course. That's what I'm here for, you know? My impeccable taste in books. And, well, they pay me, so. <laughs> You're welcome. Hope you enjoy them. <sighs> Can't believe I didn't scare them off. And, one, two... They took all four. Oh, really hope they like those. Right. And... Uh, yeah. Dan's late again. I doubt he'll be in with a story about his lung. Uh, oh. Hi. How can I... Ah. It's you. You're back. Um. Did you finish them? The books I recommended. <laughs> wow. Okay. That was... Uh, I mean, you just checked them out a week ago. Ah, uh, not that I blame you. The, well, what did you think? Hmm. <laughs> I know, right? Which was your favourite? That's my favourite too. Of course, I love them all, but there's something special about that third one, right? Oh, I agree. Which character was your favourite? Oh, really? Oh. Okay. You're the first person I've met who liked the junior guard the most. Besides me, of course. There's just something about him that makes you want to hug him to death, you know? He's so oblivious the whole time. And <laughs> completely obvious about his feelings, while somehow keeping a pretty good rap on them. <laughs> Maybe the senior guard is just an idiot, though. <laughs> right. Wasn't as though they weren't obvious either. They were both just pining for each other in the most ridiculous way possible while simultaneously remaining oblivious to the other's feelings. There was just so much going on. On my second read-through, I noticed there was a lot more hints dropped than I originally noticed when I first read it. That's the genius of this series. Every time you read it, you notice something new. <laughs> yeah. I like the romance genre well enough. Sometimes there's some fun stuff in there, like this series. But I'm definitely more of a fantasy guy. Fantasy is not just for kids. How dare you. Actually, you know what? Come with me. I have something you might like. Supernatural fantasy for adults. This way. No. You're going to read it and you're going to like it. I know you will. So just trust me, will you? Right. How do you feel about vampires? <laughs> no. Not like the sparkly ones from that teen fantasy series. That's stupid. This is real, inspired by centuries of lore surrounding the creatures of the night. It's a phenomenal fantasy romance with a bit of suspense and a bit of... Well, are you comfortable reading explicit content? Uh, I mean, I assume you are considering you just read the, uh, you know, the other series. <clears throat> right. Well, this series has a bit more of that, but the story is so strong and immersive. Like, this one is just full of interesting supernatural mechanics and world building. I mean, the first book starts off with a vampire hunter being ambushed by a former vampire hunter turned vampire. Well, obviously he lives in a castle. Can't be exposed to light now, can he? And it's not like the interior of castles get a whole lot of natural sunlight. It's just practical. Come on. Definitely more so than vampires living in Washington because it's cloudy all the time. This explanation actually has some sense to it. Mm, the author does a great job of fleshing out the lore and background to prevent any plot holes, which I really appreciate because it shows he actually put some thought into it. Yeah, it just sucks when you can pick out certain things in books that make the whole plot fall apart. 
I can't stand that sort of stuff. Maybe I overthink things, but, you know. Anyway, this series, it's a masterpiece of the supernatural fantasy subgenre. Five books following the vampire and the hunter as they try to release the world from the grip of vampirism. Sign me up. Oh no, it's not so simple as that. There's like a whole bunch of politics surrounding the status and existence of vampires, ancient curses, magic and deities, and oh, there's loads. The sheer amount of thought put into it is the reason the books are as hefty as they are, but they're worth the read. Oh, come on. Would I really recommend you a book series if I didn't think you'd like it? <laughs> exactly. This is my job, you know? And I like to think I'm pretty good at it. No one else can sell a person on a book like I can. Well, I didn't get a degree in library science and literature for no reason, you know. Books are my passion. Reading them. Recommending them. Trying to write them. <laughs> Usually failing. <laughs> Clearly. But you can trust me. You'll love these. And if you don't... Uh... No, I'm not really sure what I'll do if you don't like it. I'll probably just keep throwing recommendations at you until you finally find a fantasy series you like. Yeah, that's what I thought. Now let's get this all checked out so you can see how right I am. <laughs> I highly doubt you'll have these done by next week, but if you do, I won't be working on Thursday. I'll be here on Friday, but you probably won't want to come that day kids story day and everything but um i'll be working saturday too uh, if uh, that matters i mean i can't recommend more books if i'm not here you know uh, okay have a good rest of your day <laughs> oh. ugh really how did closing staff miss this massive pile? Ah, oh, forget it. I'll just put it back myself. <sighs> Lazy fuckers. Uh, who can blame them? None of us are paid enough. Why? Uh, uh, oh, 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 wait. You. <laughs> oh, hey, don't laugh. What was that for? You scared the shit out of me. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, whatever. No swearing in the kids' section. Hey, do you see any kids around? Me neither. So, means I can say whatever the fuck I want. It's not like I really care anyway. Little demons made a huge mess out of the children's book nook. And now I'm the one to have to clean it up. After I did such a stunning rendition of one of those new age fairy tale releases too. Uh. <laughs> you know it. I got all kinds of talents. Funny voices for kids' books. Just so happens to be one of them. Oh, no. Absolutely not. It's not Friday, and I'm beyond tired. No funny voices for you today. <laughs> hmm. I'd say thanks for helping me pick these up, but you're the reason I dropped them in the first place, so... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Whatever. Now, I do notice that you've got a massive bag there bulging with books. I take it you finished the whole series since I last saw you. <laughs> of course you did. Did you like it? <laughs> ah, yeah, see, I told you. I don't recommend things people won't like. Just not how I do things. All right. Um, this way. May as well check those back in before I inspect all of these for any kind of damage. You'd think people would be invested in teaching their kids manners, or at least how to respect a public library. So, you liked the vampires, huh? Maybe supernatural fantasy is your thing after all. You know, trying to reserve judgement, the same author has a werewolf series, and it's good. I had a lot of fun with it. Definitely more of a fast-paced series geared more towards romance than the vampire one, but... It's still good. Yeah, I guess that one does kind of skew into a touch of urban fantasy. But, uh, hey, wait a minute, I thought you said you didn't like fantasy at all. Huh, 
I guess I was too hung up on you saying you didn't care much for some fantasy, then. I missed the some part. That's, uh, my bad. <laughs> oh, I, um, what's that? I mean, drinks aren't really allowed in here, so I can't let you... Huh? No, it's just... <laughs> You brought me some coffee? What for? Uh, well, giving recommendations is kind of my job, so I don't need to... Thanks, or... Um... <laughs> yeah, the, those kids did kind of tire me out. Could you tell? It's, a, it's honestly a bit embarrassing. I thought I was hiding it pretty well. I guess not. Well, in that case, I gratefully accept your gift of caffeine. <laughs> Thank you. Very thoughtful of you. Okay. Ah, oh, I needed that. Now, going back to the werewolf series I was talking about, you said you read it already? <laughs> Interesting. No, no, nothing bad. It's just, well, like I said, I assumed you didn't like fantasy. Which in hindsight is pretty silly of me, considering I first found you in the fantasy aisle. Should have been a little bit of a tip-off. Say, I remember you looked pretty intent on finding a specific book. What was it? I can check and see if we have it. Oh, that's that urban fantasy with the alchemist, right? God, I loved that one. It was so cleverly written, and <laughs> the not-so-subtle commentaries on capitalism and consumerism, well, they were a bonus. I love a novel that isn't afraid to make a point like that, you know? <laughs> I'm nearly positive we've got a copy... Um, actually, uh, it might be on order. It's a pretty new release. It's only just come out, right? I think I got a proof copy of that one in exchange for writing a review. <laughs> you look a bit surprised there. I do try to make it a point to read the anticipated releases, so I know what to recommend. It's all part of the job, you know. Oh, what's... This isn't one of ours, is it? Looks in too good condition. This is... Oh. Oh my god. Oh my god. This isn't happening. There's no way. You're... You're joking, right? This is an autographed first print edition. Where did you get this? How did you get this? <laughs> you... No, this probably isn't a place for a book like this. I mean, if you want to... Donated. The public library isn't really. But just to to me. <laughs> You're joking. You can't seriously be considering giving me this. Uh, I mean, shouldn't you be the one to keep it? It'll be worth loads. You have more than one. Wait a fucking. <laughs> You're kidding me. <laughs> This can't be real. <laughs> There's no way this is happening. <laughs> You're the author of this book? <laughs> oh my god. Um, Why are you in my library? I mean, shit, that's not... Uh, oh god. Oh my god. Um, I don't... Uh, uh, this, this is mortifying. Um, hmm. <laughs> well, I've just been casually chatting with you for... Hell, I've been flirting with you for three weeks, and it turns out you're the author of one of my favorite books of all time? Are you... you can see how this is an insane situation for me, right? I mean, really, I, I'm just a librarian, and you're gifting me an autographed first printing edition of my favorite book that you happen to have written after I insulted your taste in fantasy. Oh, God. Oh, God. And I know I look like a mess today, too. God damn. Oh. What do you mean, when am I done? Where, with my shift? In... Ten minutes? Why? <laughs> you... You want to go out... For a drink? With me? After all that? Really? 
Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. A sequel to this. And you, you want to ask me about what I think? You... Are you sure? Me? <laughs> I'm just a librarian. I, I don't really... <sighs> okay. Okay. Yeah, fine. <laughs> Since you're insisting, I, I guess we can <laughs> go out and discuss your upcoming sequel to a book I've been obsessed with for two months. Yeah, that's great. Let's do it. <sighs> um... <clears throat> I guess you can wait for me here. Yeah, I'll be done in ten. I just need to go and tidy up a bit. So, um, if you don't have anything better to do, sure. <laughs> right, okay. I'm gonna keep doing my job then. And I'll, uh, see you in ten. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Whew. This... Even I look good in this cardigan. I mean, I, I just tossed it on this morning, but, um... Thank you. I'm glad you like it. It's one of my favourites. Um, I'm gonna get back to this before I get yelled at by my boss. I'll, uh, see you in a bit. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs>